Good morning, my friend. I hope you're doing well. Um, I got a heavy heart this morning. I, I just want to share with you a quick, quiet time and, and get you to pray for um, several things that are going on. There's been just a lot of tears shed um, in our community lately. Um, just yesterday, a family lost a child who's been dealing with a childhood cancer for years and um, just a, a, a difficult, long um, process that they went through. And and uh, their young child uh, finally succumbed to this illness uh, yesterday. And I can't give you details more than that, but but um, the loss of a child is impossible for anybody. And um, there's just a, a family in our community here now that's in the acute phase of that, and they just need your prayers. And so just um, put your heart out and lift, the, lift this family up and um, that they would be comforted and that God will get them through this difficult time. And um, we had a, another lady that wrote in, wanted to be anonymous who just lost an infant child that was just born a couple of months ago and um young mother with several other small children and the husband works out of state and it's just a seemingly impossible difficult situation for this young couple so pray for them for their children for their marriage for their hearts um and again that's an anonymous one i can't give you names or more details than that but there's just so much pain and you know so much difficulty and, and sometimes it's you wonder what's going on in this world and, and sometimes um we had a couple of new cancer diagnoses this week we had another uh, pretty bad head injury um situation that i've been aware of that that uh just just a lot life is hard you know and even if it's not medical there's 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 divorces there's financial strain there's there's all kinds of things going on in the world and sometimes it can just seem like god has forgotten us but i just want to remind you that psalm 56 8 says that you've taken account of my wanderings and you put my tears in your bottle you've written them in your book psalm 34 18 said the lord is close to the brokenhearted Revelation 7, 17 says, For the Lamb in the center of the throne will be their shepherd and will guide them to springs of water of life, and God will wipe every tear from their eyes. Revelation 21, 4, he says it again, And he will wipe away every tear from their eyes, and there will no longer be any death. There will no longer be any mourning or crying or pain. The first things have passed away. 1 Samuel twenty forty one. When the lad was gone, David rose from the south side and fell to his face on the ground and bowed three times and they kissed each other and wept together but David wept the more in 1 Samuel 34 then David and the people who were with him lifted their voices and wept until there was no strength in them to weep I read those two verses because I want to remind you that the word says that we are to weep with those who weep in Romans 12 15 we're to rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep don't forget friend that this is a community and sometimes you're the one doing the weeping you're the one doing the mourning but you need community to come around you and weep with you we have a broken heart lisa and i and tata a broken heart for this family these these two families that have lost children now for these people that are dealing with cancer for people that are struggling with this brain injury we have a broken heart and i just i want to remind you that even if you're in a season where the sun is shining as matt Redman said and the sun's shining down on you and the world's all as it should be don't forget to weep with those who weep. So I just ask you this morning in this in this little bit of quiet time to just weep all the more with these people. I'm not telling you to be sad. I'm telling you to, to lift them up to the Father and ask God to comfort them, remind God of his promise to be close to them when they're brokenhearted. And whatever you're going through, we're with you too. Get out on the prayer wall, wwwmdcom slash prayer. Connect with the newsletter, wwwmdcom slash newsletter. Come back to the podcast almost every day and just know that that you have a community of people all around the world who are praying with you and for you and are with you. And we're all just trying to get through this life so that we can meet our our Creator and our Savior someday and, and all those tears will be wiped away from our eyes. Because you know what? It wears you down. Psalm 6, 6 says, I'm weary with my sighting. Every night I make my bed swim. I dissolve my couch with my tears. Job sixteen sixteen. my face is flushed from weeping and deep darkness is on my eyelids. And I just want to remind you, friend, that there's a time of weeping, but there comes a time of rejoicing and, and the light will come back. There's never, you, you never have to give up hope because no matter how dark or how hard it is, Jesus promised you that he came here to give you an abundant life. He promises you that he will wipe every tear away from your eyes. 
So in the meantime, in the midst of the struggle and the pain, lift each other up and bear one another's burdens and be part of this community of people that help each other out. And we love you and we're praying for you. I just wanted to put these these situations on your mind this morning and ask you to pray. Um, I'm going to play Tommy Walker a, f- a few months ago. Um, he recorded a version of his old song, um, He Knows My Name, just for us, for this for the podcast community. And I'm just going to bring that back to you and give it to you this morning. Um, just to remind you, God knows your name. He knows what you're going through. He sees each tear that falls. He hears you when you call. He's on your side. You have a father. A friend, we're, we're, we're just hurting this morning for this community and these people and and i want you to just weep with us uh and then look forward to the day when we don't have any more tears when when there's no more sadness and 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 we know that we're going to get there and we know that in order to get there we have to start today we're going to play tommy walker's song we're praying for you i pray that you have an amazing day but just just please spend a moment and lift these families up uh, and join with us in praying for them. God bless you, friend. We'll see you tomorrow. I have a maker. He formed my heart Before even time began My life Oh